afternoon. This is Cindy from ABC Machinery. First, allow me to give a short introduction about who we are and what we do. ABC Machinery is to what? Sorry. Hello? Mm. Yeah, ABC Machinery is one leading suppliers for flour mill in China and we have 27 years experience in this field. And we can supply wheat flour mill machine, maize flour mill machine, cassava flour mill machine, and beans cleaning, beans hunting. Uh, we are most processing kinds of grain. That is what we do. And today, we are showing you one sixty ton per day wheat farming plant, which we are installing domestic today. As you see, they are still not finished yet. And um, for before we introduce this mach this plant machine by machines, I would like to introduce you the layout or uh, simple introduction of this whole project. Then you will have a rough understandings how this machine is being laid out and how and also the configurations okay for this six ton per day yeah we have three layers this is the first layer this is second layer this is third and we can divide the whole plant into two parts this is the cleaning part and this is the milling part and except this two part, we have raw weight silo part, and we also have silos for flour. Okay, let let us start from here. Yeah, with silos to storage the weight from outside, and then the machines will go to the first cleaning machine, vibrating sifter. This is to get removed of the light big impurities inside the weight and then there's one scour here to get rid of the uh, impurities with a stick to the bottom of weight and after that there's one de-stoner to get rid of the stone inside the weight after that, all this yeah the flow the weight will go into the dampener here okay and then go to the tempering beam this is the first cleaning part and after this, after tempering B, we'll call the weight as clean weight. For the clean weight, we'll have a, sub, have a second cleaning to make sure the clean is very, that the weight is very clean. Because if there's some, still some impurities left inside the weight, they may make the rollers be broken. So we have to double check. So second cleaning, we have the rotary sieve, another scour, and our aspirators. And after this, yeah, there's one, there's actually there's one silo, tempering silo here, small one. And for the tempering silo later, the clean weight will go to the six, six pieces of roller mills. And uh, after that, go to the two plant sifters and beside the two plant sifters there are two purifiers to get to get the high quality flour. Okay, so two parts, cleaning part, meaning part, and the third floor is the higher channel part. And after that there's one silos. This is a simple introduction of the flow chart. And then now I will take you to the installation site to see machines one by one. Actually, we should, uh, if we introduce this whole project, we should start from clean part because that is why weight comes in. But since we enter, enter into this workshop, what comes to our us first is the rheumatic roller. So we will introduce this first. And as you see, we have how many lunar meals we have? We can count one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six pneumatic rollers. Here, uh, 
then I want to first introduce for the 60 ton, yeah, as I said, this is 60 ton wheat flour mill project. Before we introduce this machine, I want to say something about the design of about the 60 ton. Normally for this capacity, we have two designs. One is the higher configuration, we use pneumatic roller mills, we use transistors, we also use purifier. This is the high design. And we also have another common design, which we can use mechanical rollers, we use two beam sectors, and we do not use purifiers. This is a different design. So when, uh, if you want to buy a capacity similar, like 50 ton, 6 ton, mm, and if you, it's better that you tell us which design do you prefer. Then I will explain you the difference between them. For the pneumatic roller, yeah, as this project. Okay, we can see from here first. For this uh, low pneumatic roller system, it's not just one. Actually, it's a success. Mm, it's twelve because we can divide this part from here one another. So one pairs here, one pairs here. So for each one pneumatic roller, actually it's two. It's two mechanical machines, roller mills. So for this one, first we can save more space for the space. Another good thing is the pneumatic roller system. It has sensors inside this machine. Have sensors. What is the function of sensor? For example, when something sometimes may happen in the cleaning part and there's no weight come in. There's no weight come in. If there's a sensor, yeah, the sensor will know that. The rollers, they will, the rollers will stop running. They will not, they will not uh, go to touch each other. Because if, there, uh, if there's no weight come in, the roller, if they touch each other, their left span will be shot. So this is the first good thing that pneumatic roller can protect himself when there's no weight come in. Second, because the pneumatic roller have higher sense, so it can mm, get good quality of flower. And a, a third thing is that the uh, pneumatic roller system can be written into PLC. So if we want higher automatic system, yeah, you, ha you, you, you should use the pneumatic roller. Okay, this is six down. For, the, um, for this uh, capacity, actually we do not suggest that uh, you use the pneumatic system that much. Uh, in China, we may use this because we China have many um, flour mill machine plants project. So to compete with the so to compete, so we need to use the higher qualities. If in some, if in your village, in your place, you do not have so many competitors, yes, I think you can choose the lower cost the mechanical system, and or you can spend more money on the higher quality one. Okay, we are showing you some inner part of our pneumatic roller. Yeah, if you have any questions or if you want to me sh to show you which part, you can write down your messages. Then I can see that I will show you. Uh, another thing is that for the rollers, we for this set of rollers, we have two. Yeah, we have two eight hundred. Types and another four is six hundred type. The eight hundred is the length is the length of the rollers, and except the six hundred, eight hundred, we also have one meter rollers, one point twenty five meter rollers. This the bigger, you know, the big length, the longer the length, the big input capacity.
Okay, this is the first floor. As, okay, for the first floor, actually, uh, the total building height is about 5.5. The first building is 4.5 meters high. Okay. Okay. We can see for the six uh, sets of rulers, they do not. Uh, some yeah. One customer asked me that whether uh, the weight will come into the first, uh, second, and third, and one by one into the last one, and then go to the parenthesis. No, it's not like that. For the uh, roller system, we have our brake brake system, reduction system, scratch, and it's different for the brake system for the first two machines. They, for example, the whole needs of the weight, the whole knee weight will come into that two machines. The rollers are uh, will just break, yeah, break the weight. Then it's crushed the weight. Then the the things will go up. Yeah, we do not connect the pipes yet, but there's pipes. We. Uh, the crust the weight will go into the second floor to the plant sifter. After the plant sifter, the plant will, will separate out the good first uh, the good quality of flower. The flowers will come to into the purifier, and that part that will go to these two machines. That is the uh, reduction system and also scratch system. Different, yeah, because the seed can separate out different flowers according to their seeds, then some go to this roller mills and left left o, left overs we call that we we'll go to maybe this roller system and this roller tea system and then we'll regrind re again and go to the plant sector again and they circulating. So yeah this uh, how many reduction how many breaks this will Decide about by, by our designs. Okay, this is our roller system now. Let's go to see the cleaning part. Yeah, the cleaning part is in the second floor. So when we move, there may be some shaking. We'll try to hold it evenly. the first step where did the weight come in follow me okay that house that part is the house storage later we can go outside and see this is a house storage where they storage the weight and first yeah there's an elevator here the elevator will deliver the weight, the raw weight, into this machine. This is the vibrating sifter. Vibrating sifter. Yeah, the vibrating sifter is to mainly to re get removed of the light, light, big impurities. This is the function of this. And after this one, there's one dampener. There's one dampener there. Yeah, we can see that is to because there is still some mud stick to the weight. So the, there is many beaters inside the scour. Yeah, they use the plate to beat off the impurities, the mud, which stick to the weight. So this is the second cleaning machine. Yeah, yeah, we can see many customers come inside. Yeah, here is Cindy. This is Cindy from ABC Machinery. We are introduce one fixed ton weight from your project. We are installing in China now. Yeah, so I'll give you a short introduction about this project. Hello. Okay, the first, uh, yeah, this is the house storage and we will first come to the cleaning machine, which is to get removed of the uh, light, big, big impurities. After that, we go to the scours down to get removed of the mud stick to the weight. This is the second cleaning machine. 
After that, the weight will go into this machine. This is the disc donor. Yeah, as the name shows, yeah, this is to remove the stones inside the weight. Now, the stone is very hard. It can make the roller be broken easily. And also, especially the sieve, the sieve inside the plastic jar. So, we must remove that. Okay. This is the disc donor. Uh, when we say the disc donor, yeah. I want to say uh, how this stoner, this stoner is working. It is according to the specific gravity of the raw weight and so on. As we know that the weight and so on, they have different weight, right? For the same uh, cube of things, they have different weight. So according to this thing, yeah, when the, the the stoner is boiling, is boiling, the heavy thing, the heavy stone will go up, will go up, go up, and then the weight will go down from that place to next place. I'm sorry, to here. This is the where the weight comes in to go to this hopper direct to the next machine, and the, the stone will, yeah, come out of that. That place. Uh, for the disc donor, we can yeah. This is the outlet for the stones. Later, we will have a bag here. Okay, for this, for this disc donor, you can see we are connect, they are connecting one big fan. The big the fan. This is to to make the weight boiling working because they have the weight have to be boiling to separate according to their weight. Okay, this is the after this. This is the one vibrating sifter, one scour, one stoner is the first cleaning. And after this, for the second clean, that is for the clean weight. Here, yeah, we have a one cusp. Yeah, we have a cus uh, one customer ask us one question because in our offers we say him we have always different. Sometimes for uh, for the first cleaning we use two disc donor, we use or we use two scour, but some here we just use one, right? Why? Can you guess? Because for the cleaning machine, they are functions to clean the weight, so. Whether your the state the state of your weight is very important. If you use the weight that's just the heaviest from the field, they may have more impurities inside, like mad, like the stones. If these things happens, you should tell us. Then we will use we have to use two these stones as I just said. If there's too many stones inside, this may destroy or make broken your rollers but if if the weight is import from other countries before they import the, the export the, the weight they already clean the weight for the yeah, first time so for that kind of weight you do not need that much cleaning machine that is why we say when we design the whole project we will ask you where is your weight come coming from Okay, after the cleaning part, then as we see from this entrance, we'll go to this machine. This is dampener. Yesterday, we had the live show, one customer asked us a question. When should we use the dampener and when should we use the washer? Then first, let me introduce these two machines. Yeah, the washer is one wash machines it has the function of cleaning machine also because the water yeah water can clean everything it is like this the stool the conveyor you know, and mixing with water the, the weight goes this way so after this process many many impurities will be cleaned and there's another dryer then 
after dryer, they will get remove of the water inside, and they can go to next process. For the weight washer, one ton flour, but one ton weight, you use one ton flour, uh, one ton water. But for the dampener, one ton, one ton weight just need six or to seven percent of the water. So the first difference is, is between is their first piece is their water consumption. Washer will use more water, and the dampener will use, use less water. But the water will also generate a lot of polluted water also, and the dampener will, mm, yeah, we, we do not have this problem. So how to choose the machines when we have faced these two machines, how to choose which one to use? Mm, let me give you one suggestion. When the capacity is lower than 50 ton per day, 50 pounds per ton per day, and if your place is in the village or your um, local government do not have the uh, street policy on the, on the polluted water pollution and also the water is available to you, then we will suggest the washer because um, yeah, it can cleanse the weight again. You do not need that much cleaning machines. And another thing is uh, another thing is the water you really have a compact, comparative so you can say it's lower cost. But when the capacity is higher, for example, higher than 50, 60 ton, or, uh, or your place have the strict uh, policies on this part, on the pollution part, we will suggest you use a dampener. But when the capacity is higher than 80 ton or 100 ton, we just suggest to use a dampener. Because uh, if you use water, pollution is a problem, run, and also you have to use a lot, a lot of waters, right? So, yeah, this is the difference between them. Okay, after the dampener weight, we'll go into this tampering beam. The tampering beam. This is a necessity in the weight processing. We have to temper the weight. Why? Because nowadays when we get uh, get the wheat flour, we use the yeah. We want to get the wheat flour, which is separate the bran out. We want to try to get as many as more of the flour, but we do not need the bran. So how to make the bran being ponies and do not let the bran get down into the flour. So we need to use water. We, we temper the bean, we make some water inside of the weight, then the bran, they can stick to each other. So when they go to the roller mill, when we just uh, cut down the flour inside, the bran will, because they, with the water, they are a little, not easy be broken up, so we can get the flour easily. So we have to temperate the bean. How long time we should temperate the bean? Normally we temperate 24 hours, 24 hours. But uh, if you use hard weight, it may need longer time. If you use soft weight, it would use less time. Okay, you can see that we have one, two, three tempering bean. Why we need three? Because as I said, we need 24 hours for tempering. The first bean, yeah, the first days, after 24 hours, go. And then second, second day use this tempering bean, third day use it. It will be a circulating system. Okay, this is the cleaning part. Yeah, first cleaning part actually. Okay, hi, this is Cindy from ABC Machinery. Yeah, we have yes, many customers just came, came in. Yeah, we are showing you one six ton per day with from new project, which is under installation and commissioning now. We just finish our introduction about the first cleaning part and we have our first cleaning machine vibrant sector and down is the scour and this is the disc donor and then up 
to, to go to the damper, dampering, dampener, and then go to the tempering beam. Okay, in the cleaning part, we can see that we have funds. Yeah, this fund is to provide the air to the distiller, and that one we have one dust collector. The dust collector is to get removed, to collect the dirty things, impurities in the air, in the cleaning part. This is to keep our room clean. Okay, after this, we will go to the next part. Okay, this is the elevators. After the, the elevator to this one and go to the shower. Yeah, another shower to make sure the clean weight. And beside is the air aspirator. After this one rotary seat done, but it is still not installed yet, so we cannot say. Okay, this is the second cleaning part. And we also have one cyclone there. So that is means we in the cleaning room we have one cyclone. We have one dust collector just to make sure the room is clean. Then we will get it flow. Okay. Maybe we are a little shaking because we are moving to the Yeah, this is the, yeah, as you should see, this is the first uh, cleaning part. Okay, now, this one is one tank, temporary tank, clean with storage, or clean with storage. And after the weight being cleaned by the second time, they will go into this temporary, temporary storage bin for some, Frozen ties, and then it will go down to the roller mill, which is explained. Six, we have six sets of roller mills. After first, uh, go to the braking system. The roller mill will break. Yeah, will break the weight, and then after that, the all the crushed the weight will go into this machine. This is the plant sifter. Yeah, this plant sifter. We can see we have how many doors. One, two, three. This is one side. Yeah, we have two sides. That one is also four, five, six. And we have six doors. We have 24 layers for each. Yeah, they are already locked down. We have 24 layers. So this many different layers is trying to separate the flower in different quality, quality and state, then they can separate in uh, to different places to go to different roller mills. Yeah, you can see we have so many pipes. Each pipe is connecting to one thing. So you can see we how many different different um, separated water uh, flower we have. Yes, we can show them. This is two M, and that is F two, P three. They are say they are to go to different place. Okay, this is the show you. This is the prefabricated pipe we use. It's very strong. So we first install the machines, and then finally we will install the pipes to get to connect the pipe. Okay, this we use two plastic mirrors. And here's a purifier. After the flower go into the roller mill and to the plastic jar, the plastic jar will save out some good quality flower. That's why we go to the purifier again. To, to be ready to sift out the good quality again, and then that part will go to down to the roller mill again, and to 
So the first part of flower will come through these machines. But they are not same. They just look like this is a brand brusher, brand brusher to um, ensure about the higher ex flower extraction rate. We use this machine. What is function? After the brand and flower, after they've been separated by the plant sifter, there is still some flower stick to the brand. So this is the brand brusher, brusher to brush the flower which stick to the, to the brand to brush that flower part down then we will have high poly, high extraction rate yeah this is the pipes showing we have some noise local we are still working okay this is the back uh, you see right we have one Just a collector also, just a collector also. This is, this is the dust collector for the cleaning. We have one in that place for, free, uh, for the cleaning part. And this is the dust collector in the mini part. So this is how for us to clean our room here. Okay, that's the second floor. We finish. I will show you some details. So, if you have uh, anything you want to show you or your questions, let me know. Yeah, I can see we still have many customers coming to our living room. Okay, this is Cindy. This is Cindy from ABC Machinery. We are showing you one six ton with from your project. We are installing in domestic now. It's still under. Uh, installation or and going for the commissioning now in a few days I just uh, give a short introduction about the cleaning part and the meaning part so mm, if you are interested you can write me messages okay yeah the, this is the purifier Fires. Okay, this is the plastic.
Okay. Hi, this is Cindy again. Yeah, we always have new visitors, so I would like to introduce more about this project. Uh, ABC Machine is one leading supplier for floor mill machines in China. We have 27 years experience and we can supply wheat floor mill plant, maize floor mill plant, cassava, and we also can provide beans cleaning, beans hunting, and some other grain processing machines. And today we are showing you one 60 ton wheat flour mill project which under installation and commissioning now. I just finished some uh, short introduction about this project. I'll show you again for base that you are seeing now is the cleaning part. The first cleaning part, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. One customer, yeah, one friend asked us why this door is still open. Then later, I will, I will introduce you how this uh, all these machines be moved in and being stored and the sequence. Um, okay, this is the second floor for the. and purifier okay now I wanted to uh, give a short introduction about the installation sequence Yeah, we are getting done. The installation site is always a little messy, but after we install it well, we'll clean them up.
So it's just a structure with two door open and with the top open. Then we will move the first layer. We move the pneumatic roller machines here one by one, and then we will, yeah, we'll make this up and we will, yeah, we'll put the first layer plate there, and but after that we need to move the plant sifter inside the workshop. But plant sifter, as you see, is very big, right? How can we come in? We can come from that door, or we can come from that door, which open that door. Yeah, we can move that with the hoister, come into that. So we move machines from that to open door, which is near. We move, the, put the, all the machines to the right place. And then, yeah, first we already close the top. And after all the machines in, then we'll close that two doors. That is, that is how we move all the machines. But here, I want to show you the end. I want to show you we have three silos here. The three silos is the flower silo. Each of them is 15 ton, one five. And we have three, one, two, three. And later here we will have one, two, three automatic packing machines. One customer just asked us why we do not pack the flower directly. Why we should need the silos? There are two reasons. In China, this is a special reason. Because in China, our power consumption at night is much, much cheaper than the daytime. So we, we can use the silos to storage the flower the, for the daytime. And night, night, they can pack in the machines. You, you people to pack in machines to save the power cost. This is the first reason. Second reason is that we have some local flower buyers. They do not buy the machines, but buy the flower as bags. They buy as bank. They use the card bank. They have their usage for some uh, bread. They use huge flowers. They do not need bags. Because bags will also have some cost. So they use bank. So we can use this, uh, the, the cars inside to the car directed and then move away. Okay, I will show you again about this 60 ton with Plummy project from this place for you to see the whole part. Yeah, the new magic roller and the uh, end is the cleaning part. The second a uh, second floor is the plant sector and we have silos here. Yeah we can see the whole building from outside. This is the whole building. Okay, I will show you. Uh, yeah, we have workers is working here. Okay, this three house is the house storage. So I want to uh, give a short uh, introduction about the, the house silos and also the steel silos. Mm -hmm. mm, if you have, for, for example, this floor factory, they have these three rooms already, so we can use them as weight storage. But if we do not have, mm, we will also still suggest that you use the steel silo because they have good seal and it is easier to. Storage the weight in a good state. 
Yeah. I'll show you the uh, this charging pit. Ah, this is this are some um, elevators still under ready, be ready for installation. Storage the cars can come in here from and we discharge the weight directly from this place and then yeah we have another question ask us uh, for the whole project how many days for the installation and how many workers are required mm. thank you thank you for the for your consent to us. And for this 60 ton per day wheat flour project, domestically we will need about 30 days for installation, 30 days for installation, and another 30 days for commissioning. And how many people for, uh, here? We have uh, about 10, 10 people, workers here. Um, to your local side, um, normally we have two ways. First, we can send all our people there. We do the whole project by our workers, or we can just send two engineers for installation guidance. If we send all our people, 50 to 60 days is okay for installation and commission. If uh, you just send two or three uh, engineers for guidance, and how many days? It depends on your local labors. If you follow us, yes, we can still finish them within two months. Yeah, this is the dampener. Yeah, this is the another the house. The house silo. There's one uh, entrance from the above and then comes inside and the flower will go into that pit be elevated to the cleaning part this is the house silos okay uh, i'll show you about chinese weight yeah this is the chinese wheat. the the local farmers sell them to this factory flower factory we can see we do not have much store inside but we have some straws. We have some straws. So for the straws, we use vibrant sifter to get rid of the straws inside. And we uh, no much stone. I mean, no much straws. So we just use one sifter. So the the weight is um, we can say it's clean. It's not that dirty. So. For this reason, we just uh, design one vibrant sieve, one stoner, one scour for this whole system. Yeah, okay, let's go back to the workshop because one customer asked that she want, he want to see the donor meals. So if you have uh, any questions or any questions or want to see which part, you can write, leave me messages. Yeah, this is Cindy from ABC Machinery. We are showing you one six ton weight from project. We are uh, now installing and commissioning. Because we have many customers, they just come in, just come in, so I want to show you the again for this whole project. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, this is the sixth piece of uh, low mat 
Magical, new magical jeweler. Yeah, we have one customer ask us to take a near pictures. This is the inner part. again about the own the machines we just mentioned this is the new magic rollers system and now we are going to see the cleaning machines this this donor to get rid of the stone is the vibrancy, the first uh, cleaning machine. Down is the scour, the second cleaning machine, the first uh, cleaning part. about five to six percent of water and that there's the second cleaning part the scour the air separator and the cyclones so now we are moving to the second layer for the classic to part and purifiers. Yeah, this is the uh, plastic so we have six bees, 24 layers. Yeah, we can see the drum, the pipe connecting part uh, many different kind of flower after the plant sifter this the pipes they are prefab pipes prefabricated pipes to yeah to hear the flower from above and that means yeah I know it's a little noisy because our workers still under working. Hi, this is Cindy from ABC Machinery. Thank you for your time. Uh, today's live show is almost finished. Yeah, remember this is Cindy from ABC Machinery and we are supplying with flower milk plant, maize flower milk plant, and also cassava flower milk plant, and also beans cleaning, beans cutting. So if you are interested in our machine, if you are interested in our company, please write us emails. We can 
yeah, communicate, and we'll send you the right offer, design good quality machines for you. Thank you for your time. Bye.